Another great easy cast on is the figure eight cast on. Um, again, so we're going to use two needles, two cables. Uh, the one on the bottom is going to be for my provisional stitches in this case, but I can also use this for toe up socks, in which case I would only need to use one needle and I would use the two tips of the same cable. Um, basically, it's called the, sorry, the figure eight cast on, and I'm just going to hold on to my yarn on the on my left hand with my needles, and I'm going to bring my, I'm, I'm going to wrap it an eight around my needles, basically. So I just go in the middle, come around over, in the middle, around under, middle, around over, middle, around under. And I just do this for as many stitches as I need. Whoops. Now, this is an easy cast on as well. Um, it's looser than the Turkish cast on or, or the wraparound cast on. I find it's looser when you're actually working or knitting it, um, in particular that first row. But it's also a great cast on if you struggle with the other traditional cast ons for toe up or provisional. You want to finish wrapping around the bottom needle like I did here, not the top, but the bottom. And um, and when you're done, then if if you're if you're doing a a provisional cast on, you just pull the lower needle through so that your stitches are hanging on the cable. Again, you want to make sure that you don't lose that stitch on your cable there. And then you grab your needle and you just go right ahead and knit across those stitches. So. You want to be careful not to pull the tips too far from each other so as not to create too much of a gap between stitches, similar to the Turkish cast on. So if I'm here, I don't want to do this because it's going to create a huge gap between the stitches and they're just going to get really sloppy and messy. Look at that, how big of a mess. But if I keep them all, the tips close to each other here, I'm not pulling them apart and I just keep working here, it, uh, it keeps it tidier and more organized. And oops, we can obviously do it this way as well. And there we go. So now we can count our stitches and make sure you don't lose that one. So we count two, four, six, eight, four, six, eight. So when you come around, you need to be careful. You see how this one wants to kind of run away. We can do a slip knot to keep it here like we did with the um, Turkish cast on, or we can just be vigilant with it that it doesn't run away. You can turn around and come and purl that next row or do whatever it is you need to do. So I'm going to hold this one down so it doesn't come undone. And then I just come ahead and purl the stitches. And there we go. That's as simple as that. Again, it can be for toe up, uh, provisional cast on, um, any invisible seam that you need. If you did, for example, pull your tips too far apart while you were doing the first row and you left a huge gap, you can always try and tighten it by pulling the pearl bumps here a little bit and that'll, oh, look at that, it's a huge, it will tighten it up a little and even out the tension between all the stitches. Uh, but like I say, it's a really loose cast on and it's maybe not the best for toe up, because it gives a huge gap, but it's still a nice, easy cast on.